Good afternoon. This is Canada Tortoise Capital with a daily debrief for 12 August uh, 2019. First, I want to take a quick look at Glenn's daily report from last Friday. Uh, done a very nice job here uh, working his intraday uh, efforts, uh, fresh from the live trading workshop and the research weekend this July. He's making the transition to full time trader. Um, 29 trades, 17. I'm sorry, 1.7 was the best score, minus 0.9 uh, was the biggest loss. 18 winners, 4 scratches, 7 losers, uh, standard deviation 0.57. You see the average, the SQN and the NSQN if it's normalized to 100. 62% win rate for an average win of 0.55. 24% loss rate for an average loss of minus 0.5. So essentially a 2 to 1 coin flip. That pays evenly. Um, uh, pretty good shape. Rolling R. Uh, settling up just above 0.2 on expectancy. See the trade sequence plot. Nothing worse than minus 1. That's good. Histogram in good shape. Um, getting paid in the land between minus 1 and plus 2. Um, can work on some of these that were minus 1s. See what we can do about maybe reducing that quick... Uh, without affecting the performance uh, and then the cumulative R during the day. Um, so well done. Quick look at Sanal's prep work. This is on the um, uh, planning and preparing. This is really more the preparing side. So she's done a multi time frame analysis daily, four hour, two hour, one hour. I'm going to recommend she add a weekly and uh, probably pick the two hour. I don't know that there's enough difference between daily and two hour to justify that screen space um, and then maybe this is a 30 minute uh, instead of an hour so you get a factor of four four times half an hour would be two hours times four is a daily um, but that's for us and her to work out um, she's done some nice analysis all the way through including the MACD histogram in this case I would be driving mostly off of the daily as being the governor and then looking at these as maybe some incremental moves and she's done uh, some price analysis to help her with her daily trading plan I'm looking at the fair value and the fair value in both cases were underneath fair value and so a return to the Bollinger Band mean on a daily but it's got to clear this uh, long term for value so there's a cap and I'd be ready to go short on weakness um, in here I'd have been tempted and if this fails tomorrow I'd be tempted and she's done a nice job here of laying out um, her biases to make sure that she's directional with respect to the one hour chart well done um, our daily uh, chart updated for uh, the 12th so today uh, was weakness right from the opening and gave a little spike up and then rolled over and finished weak the rest of the day. So that was the primary move down. Blue line is the Monday uh, opening. So as long as price is below that, I have an additional reason to have a negative bias. We're in the bottom half of the 10 day range, the bottom half of the 30 day range. Um, we just rejected the uh, dragon and we're at fair value. And then the price ladder on the way down, you see one, two, three, four targets. Um, the test of support here at Z3 in the 10 day low. You see why that, even that intermediate at 284 is, is key. Um, so I'm ready to get really short on this one in a hurry as we're in the winter. And we have a nice trading range of about 20 bucks uh, from bottom to top of the 10 and the 30 day trading range. So this is still a trader's market, short term direction. Got to get that right. Big range days. Um, that's what we got going. Uh, today's series, uh, I was trying to get the market right today, so I was focused on SPY. Um, uh, it was a gap down, but showed a little bit of strength. I bought the cross of the um, uh, of the VWAP, uh, quick scratch. Uh, I uh, got long at breakout of the VWAP, cashed a little. I still had a long bias. Um, Try to get long here like a continuation. I saw a low, a higher low. That quickly scratched, and now I saw a high, a low, a lower high. And this became like a collapsing dragon. Got paid. Um, I, there were a couple chops in here, so I, I didn't take the owl, but that would be normal to go here and then cash, but I didn't take that. Um, I tried this as a uh, short because I actually got paid on this one. So I was ready to get short in here, but that scratched, stopped and reversed because I saw a low and a higher low coming off the 270 so I got a fractional uh, tried the next one I was starting to get a little uh, tired right here so I waited for it to cross the VWAP scratched 
um, needed to take a reset after lunch. Uh, bought the collapsing, dra- sold the collapsing dragon, I should say. Uh, short of the second position on the collapsing dragon, and I felt like this was um, the real test when that collapsed again. Uh, here for a third position, a fourth one on the runaway move, and then uh, that one broke even, but those three paid off, and then I felt like I was done for the day. I observed the um, the VWAP stretch in here, but it was already 3 p.m., and this had been a choppy inside day. It kind of felt like that, um, and uh, I was running out of energy, and then it did basically nothing the rest of the day. Um, and that's uh, today's quick debrief. Uh, coming back to this, I think it's, uh, listen to that weekend report. I think it's, uh, clearly I'm long if it's here, short if it's there on a, just a daily mechanical basis, but I'm still expecting hybrid frogs. I'll be focusing on, uh, the indexes, uh, mostly, um, uh, I, let's see, is there time for one more? No, I guess not off to soccer practice want to get this posted so uh take good care uh and we will see you in the chat room plan prepare execute and assess